Hey guys, welcome to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 commentary. Sorry I haven't posted one of these in over a week. Uh, I've just been uh, trying to stay away from Modern Warfare 3 because of my recent wisdom toothache. Um, but my wisdom teeth have gotten better. And I'll be playing this game again pretty soon. So on uh, this video, uh, this is Kill Confirmed on Outpost. Um, and I'm using the G36C in this video. It's a very nice gun, one of my top two favorites in the game. Um, I mean, it's got the recoil. The recoil isn't that bad. Um, the sounds pretty epic when you shoot it. Like it's, you know, a very solid, solid uh, rate of fire. But um, this is actually my first time using it unlocked, um, so I don't have the red dot sight or anything. But the red dot sight is very, very good with this gun. Um, this uh, this game was from like the first week that I had the game, so that was like two or three weeks ago, I think, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good game. I go to like 24 and 24 and 4 or something, I don't know. Uh, somewhere, somewhere around there. Um, and I want to talk about this room right here. Um, this is a very, I mean, I, I don't like, you know, actually being in this room, but it looks nice. Like, this looks very, uh, very, you know, nice, nicely designed. It's like the texture and everything, and um, but it's a crappy room. I don't, I don't like people that camp in there, but I do like people that uh, snipe in there because it's easy to shoot them from a far away. Um, but yeah, um, I think I drop shot this guy here. Ooh, yeah. So on uh, this video, I want to talk about the uh, getting a Moab um, slash M O A B slash Moab, whatever, however you pronounce it. Um, Oh, first, uh, I, I I actually realized that they uh, they did in fact nerf the FMG nines, so uh, they nerfed it before I got the game. So I've been using the nerfed FMG nines this whole time, but I really don't see any problem with them. They're still pretty nice, and uh, I mean they got a lot of kick and uh, recoil. But you know all you gotta do is hold down the left analog stick when you're shooting, and you know. You shouldn't have a problem. But yeah, the Moabs. Uh, I actually haven't attempted to get one yet. Um, I'm going to wait till I'm like level 80 to do, th do that. But because um, I don't have all the best guns yet uh, and everything. And my, my guns aren't all leveled up nicely. So once once I'm, you know, got the right stuff to do it, um, I will get on that. But, you know, I'm also. I mean, I know I could still probably do it with that, all that stuff, but. You know, I just, I, I don't like, you know, sitting down for three hours trying to get, like, a nuke or a Moab like I did in Modern Warfare 2. I remember in Modern Warfare 2, if I wanted to get a nuke, I'd have to sit down for, like, three hours and, like, go on all out every game and, you know, with these stupid kill streaks like Harrier, um, like the, the Predator Missile Harriers and AC-130 or Chopper Gunner. I, I prefer Chopper Gunner over AC-130. I think the AC, the Chopper Gunner was easier to use, but, um... But yeah, um, I remember the Harriers, like, wow, they they were so unreliable half the time. It's like, if your Harriers did good, you know, when you're on a nuke run, then you're going to get the nuke, if you get the Chopper Gunner from the Harriers, and, uh, but, um, I also didn't like how the the game ended with the Modern Warfare 2 nuke. At least in this game, the game doesn't end when you get a Moab, but the, your screen does get all, you know, brown and crappy looking, but that's for everyone's screen gets like that, even the team that got the Moad, you know, their screen's like that too, but, um, I, I'm really debating whether getting a Moab is easier than getting a Modern Warfare 2 nuke, um, I mean, most would say it's easier in Modern Warfare 2 because you can use kill streaks to get your nuke, but, um, the thing about that is, you know, like I said earlier, the Harriers were very unreliable half the time. And, you know, like you get like one kill, sometimes the people will blow your hair up, your harrier up, and, but um, in this game, you rely on uh, your, your gun and perks. Like you can, if you get seven kills in a row, you can get all the specialist perks. And, you know, you're, you're basically a super soldier, but that's still not enough to like, you know, ensure that you're going to get a, you know, a Moab easily, because... 
you know, anybody, you know, even if you have all the perks in the game, if someone comes up behind you and you don't, you don't, know, you don't know they're there, they're easily going to kill you, no doubt about it. It's not like you're invincible, so, um, but, I don't know, I, I don't know what to say, um, I mean, if you're playing with a good team and you have all the perks in the game and you post up good and, you know, watch the flanks, then, uh, I, I guess that's, that, that can make it easy, but, um, Right here, I got my Reaper. Yeah. And see that mountain right there? Um, that mountain screws you over in, in the AC-130. Um, it's happened to me before. Um, I didn't like it. I couldn't shoot. I couldn't see anything for like, um, like, ten seconds. Like I had to wait ten seconds to actually use my AC-130. And that mountain came my way, but um, I was stupid. And right here, I think, uh, yeah, I could not move my. I couldn't move. It was like prone blocked because it was like the angle that the the plane was at, and that's really stupid. I wish they would fix that, but they probably won't. But anyway, back to the Moab and nuke. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna actually attempt to get one until I'm like level 80, and I got a clutch clutch uh, AC 138 for nice. And um, you know, I just I just don't like sitting down for three hours trying to get this get, get these things. I wish they wouldn't have put anything like that in this game. Like they did in Modern Warfare 2. I was happy they didn't do it in uh, Black Ops because you know it's like it's like I have that thing inside my you know inside me that makes me want to you know it's like I have an urge like I have to get this. If I don't get a, a Moab, then like I'm a, I'm a failure. Like like I have to do it at least once, you know. So I feel like really bad if I don't if I end up never getting a Moab. Um, I did get like 10 nukes in Modern Warfare 3. Like, 10 or 11, I think. That was the most I ever got. I never actually got one in the 360. I had Modern Warfare 2 in the 360, and I... That was the only time I could never get a nuke. I don't know why. Um, it was pretty late in the game, though. Um, I'm, I'm sure I could have done it, but I just gave up. Like, I'm like, this is not fun. It's just not fun to sit down for three hours trying to get one. And I mean, maybe I'm that bad. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm sure if I could play with a good team... I mean, if I, I can play with a good team, I have friends I can play with, but I like going solo. But I'm sure if I play with them and try to get it, then it'd be a lot easier. But but going solo, getting a getting a Moab or a nuke solo is a lot harder. That's what I think. So that's my opinion on the Moab. I mean, I know I might sound like a jackass, you know, ranting about something I haven't even gotten yet. But um, it sounds like I know everything about it. Like I'm not trying to tell you what a Moab is, but you know, it's just, I'm just sharing my opinion, so anyway, um, yeah, this game's almost over, I think. I already got all my major kill streaks. so um, I got a pretty sexy kill right here, I think. Oh, uh, I, 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 have, I do have something I want to talk about here, um, the drop zone. Like, is that like an official playlist? Or is that an official like, game mode? Um, did Infinity Ward create that, or did some random person create it? Because I noticed that it's a custom playlist. Or it's, not, it's not a custom playlist, or whatever. No, community, community uh, made game mode. So is that official? Because it shows up in my uh, playlists. Uh, I don't know why. I mean, it, but uh, I mean, I didn't really hear anything about it. There wasn't any official announcement. But it was. It did come in the, in the latest patch, I think. But that looks uh, pretty interesting. That game mode. Um, when I, whenever I get back to playing Modern Warfare 3, I'll probably jump on that game mode for a while. It looks pretty fun. Getting the care package when you secure the uh, drop zone first. It's pretty nice. Um, and you could probably uh, take advantage of that. Cause, you know, the care packages will keep dropping and the enemy will go to them. And then you can just keep killing them with the silencer and over and over again. And that, that's, that looks pretty fun. But yeah, this video is like just about over. So, uh... I hope you enjoyed this commentary here. Um, like I said earlier, I'll, I'll have uh, three more up in the coming weeks. But until then, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Yeah, I went 24-4. I was right.